Hello, hello. How is everyone this evening? Hello, Miss 143 and So Crafty and Robin Bryant and Pamela Banks. How are y'all doing this evening? I am going to be here for a short amount of time. <laughs> um, hey, Miss Debbie Kid, how are you? So Miss 143, So Crafty and Debbie Kid, thank you for being YouTube Hoop Group members. Hello, how are you all? Mike Ferguson, so so on. Melissa Yas, hello. Thank you for hopping on live. Um, Inspiration Creations, Miss Lori, thank you. I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, Isabel, Sheila, hi, Sheila Cushionberry. Hello, Miss Pat Ash, thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member and thank you. I appreciate that. Yvette, Nina Walk, good evening. Miss 143, yes. I am. <laughs> Hondria Stokes, Rhonda Jones, Kathy Brown, hello, how are you all? Michelle Rosencrons, good evening to you as well. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Carmen Alvarado, thank you. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Nora from California, so, so on. Hello, how are you all? Hey, EJ's daughter, how are you? Welcome. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Renita, thank you. I appreciate that. And welcome. Pamela Smith, thank you very much. And welcome. Thank you for joining us. So, so creative. Hello. Yes, I am for the moment. I know, right? <laughs> Afro-Colombian, I know, right? I um had a class this evening, you guys, and um, it went very well. A webinar, the last so what for a webinar I had tonight. Um, so there won't be any more classes until next week. Um, hey, Ann Jane, welcome. Thank you for catching us. And Tanya, thank you. I appreciate that. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Um, Joanna Holmes, welcome. You got your bell, sweet. Thank goodness I sent that out when I was feeling good. <laughs> Dorothy Gaston, Chris, hello. You went his your husband went through COVID in September. Drink lots of water and take vitamin D and zinc. I have been. I've been on my multivitamins. I've been taking D. I've been taking C. I was told to add K2, I think, and my B vitamins, which um, I'll have to check my multivitamin to see if either one of those is in there. I've been chugging down green tea and with turmeric just everything that anyone can tell is uh received test let's see good evening eve and everyone shonda smalls welcome everyone stay safe tested positive with covid received test results today i'm a nurse so doing everything right and still contracted it so please everyone stay safe um Ms. shonda smalls i tested positive this morning as well so yes I have it as well. Hey, Debbie D. Andrea Stokes, welcome. And uh, right now, I'm able to tolerate sitting here because I've taken um, ibuprofen um, and I had Tylenol earlier when my fever was high. Um, the body aches were tragic and horrendous. So it was like, uh, <laughs> the body aches are nothing. Thing, like any flu I've ever felt in the history of having flu nothing nothing like it nothing this was like flu on steroids so I've been um, on Tylenol and ibuprofen and it okay so let's start back and into the beginning <laughs> Hi, welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Eve with the Baby's Booty. Um, thank you for joining our channel. We do have groups here. We have our hoop group, which most of the beautiful folks in the chat that you'll see are a part of our beautiful hoop group family. Uh, we have a group on our website, which isn't listed in the thing. I need to put that down there um, so that you'll know where to find it. But our um, website is the Baby's Booty at gmail.com and you can go there to um, sign up and become uh, 
members. I'm trying to find it so that I can turn it on so that you can see it. Uh, I think it's right here. Nope, that's the registration for the events, and we are no longer doing events. There we go. Boom. All right. So that's the website you can go to, thebabiesbooty.com, and you can sign up. There's a membership forums there. If you click at the top where it, uh, after you go to the baby's booty, you can click at the top where it says join and you can become a member there on our group on the website. We also have a Facebook page that you can join up at and get updates as well. And we have memberships here on YouTube. So if you would like to become a member, member of our YouTube group here on, on YouTube, you can do that as well. Normally, I would ring the bell. I don't have the bell back here with me, which if I have to go get it, I will, just in case somebody gets, has a, a baby that they want to tell us about. But for the most part, we enjoy celebrating our achievements with you. So um, that was a mouthful, and now I'm tired. <laughs> okay, so saying all of that to say welcome, thank you for joining us, and um, so, so creative. I definitely appreciate your your sentiments and um, making this a short live, which I probably will because for whatever reason, not for whatever reason, we all know why, but I'm starting to get hot, to get um, hot flashes and such. So um, I probably won't last too much longer because that's something else I've been dealing with is the hot flashes, hot and cold, hot and cold, hot and cold. Out. As if menopause wasn't bad enough. It's like, really? Really? So going through that as well, um, and I did have a fan in here blowing on me earlier when I was doing the class, but it dried out my throat. And so I was coughing and I'm like, okay, I can't win tonight. <laughs> so I'm just going to chill out for the rest of the night. But I did want to come on and say hello to everyone. And the main reason why is because as you see in the title of this video, processing orders with COVID, you know, I kind of felt bad because I had a pretty big order this week. Well, not a pretty big order. It was like 24 shirts, but still it was front and back vinyl. And it was for family members and not my immediate family, but distant. And I think they were for their holiday get together. I'm not sure. Um, but the shirts, I did them. I had them finished by Friday, Saturday morning, uh, because I was going to drop those shirts off at his home Saturday. And I'm glad I didn't. But Friday evening, after I had done most of the shirts, I started with this feeling in my throat. And I was like, ooh, I hope I'm not sick. Now, keep in mind, I've been under quarantine for seven days anyway. So it's like, it wasn't because of me, or so I thought. It's because my daughter was exposed to someone positive. So they put her under quarantine. And of course, with her living here, we all fall under quarantine. So I was concerned about doing some of the orders that I was doing, but did them anyway, the shirts anyway, because they needed to be done. The shirts came in and I wanted it, this order over and done with. So I did go ahead and knock it out, but I went this morning for my test, <clears throat> both my daughter and I, and we both tested positive this morning. So when it came, I, I took the shirts with me in the box uh, so that I could drop them off. And I told him, when I left the box on the porch, I'm like, spray it off, spray it with, with Lysol, let it sit there, let it air out, you know, because I tested positive. You know, I didn't know I was going to be positive when I took the order and didn't know I was going to be positive. And so I was processing the order, even though I knew we were under quarantine. So it's like, um, you know, what do you do with your orders? Because I have since received another order. Now, keep in mind, this is one of my regular business customers as a corporate customer. And it's not a huge order either, but it's enough. And with this specific order, it's uh, long sleeve t-shirts and sweatshirts. And so um, fortunately with this customer, they usually give me about 10 days to get the order done. And that's what uh, the doctor's office is telling me quarantine for another 10 days after 10 days I shouldn't be contagious anymore um, and I did order their shirts from one I had to order from two different suppliers because my original supplier was out of certain sizes so I ordered some from my original supplier and those came yesterday and then I ordered from um, Jiffy shirts 
and those haven't come in. They're not due to be in until Tuesday. So I'm like, okay, well, that's kind of good because I haven't touched the ones that came in yesterday. I didn't even put my hands on them. Um, well, not. I did, actually. I rifled through them, but that was to move them to get another shirt from up under. But I'm going to let them sit. I'm not going to touch them anymore <clears throat> so they can air out. But then the other shirts are coming Tuesday, and I'm not going to fool with those. Um, or I may put on gloves just to count and make sure all my shirts are there, but then leave it alone uh, to give myself time to uh, get over being quarantined and being contagious. So at this point, it's like, how do you <laughs> turn customers away, which I've been kind of doing anyway. Um, like I have one lady and I told her I was in quarantine she was like, oh, it's okay. I'll just set it on the back porch and you can come pick, come pick it up. I'm saying like, bruh, <laughs> I just tell you I was in quarantine. You know, but she didn't care because she wanted this shirt in time for the holidays. So she was willing to take that chance. And fortunately, it's just one. It's a cashmere sweater um, that I should be doing here shortly. But saying all of that to say, when you are uh, testing positive or under quarantine, it you kind of are caught between a rock and a hard place as far as accepting orders, knowing what orders you can take, um, sublimation things, you know, go in the heat press, so, you know, but you got to take it out of the heat press. Does that kill the germs on it? I, I don't know. You know, it should because that's pretty high heat. Um, you can Lysol a lot of that stuff down and give it to customers, but, you know, it kind of turns into a moral uh, type of conversation. Um, because ultimately, especially over the last 24 hours, I've been trained. So it's like, how do you process orders anyway? And you're not feeling good. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I have definitely one, two, one, two, I think three orders that are pending, um, that need to be done by the holidays. And so it's like... Really. Hi, Sandy Young. How are you? Welcome. <clears throat> Thank you for joining us for your first time. Sorry, it's going to be a dull one a little bit. Um, and we'll be logging off here shortly. I won't be on too terribly long, maybe about an hour. Well, it depends on how I go. Y'all know once I get to talking, I can't shut up usually. So we just go keep right on talking. <laughs> as long as I don't get uh, winded like I did. Not winded, but throat with that feeling in my throat and I have to cough. I don't like that. Um, but Shonda Smalls, please recover quickly as I intend to do and get over this mess. Andrea Stokes, thank you. Oh, you appreciate it. And thank you for being here. Um, Treasure Designs, hello from Columbus, Georgia. Welcome. Monica Torres, welcome. Nora says for B, use Benfoldamine and get an MMR vaccination and get the weekly D vitamin. Uh, which is 50,000 international units slow release. Now, I take, now I don't have B. I'll have to look that up, Nora. Um, MMR vaccination, I don't remember if I've had that or not. I just went and got my flu shot uh, Tuesday. I went to the doctor for a regular checkup. Excuse me, y'all, my throat is weird feeling. But anyway, I'll ask him about that. Um, but I take 5,000 international, uh, units of B, uh, D. You said weekly though. Mine is, uh, daily, <clears throat> but they've had, I've been on D because my D was like really, really low last year at the end of the year. And my doctor put me on D back then and it had been low before that, but I didn't really, he didn't really like come out and say be on a vitamin but by the end of the year I guess it got to the point where he was concerned so he told me I needed to take a D vitamin last year so I've been on D um, for over a year EJ's daughter says her cousin is in the hospital with it please take care I'm trying everything I can to stay away from them ER doors that's not where I want to go um, <clears throat> I have a oximeter to keep check on my <coughs> Um, oxygen so hopefully we won't have to deal with that but honestly it's not the cough so far um, the fever is a little I don't, I don't like the feel of the fever 
but it's the body aches, y'all. Oh my god, I wouldn't wish this on nobody. Oh, it's tragic. I wouldn't wish this on nobody. The body aches are a fool. Do you hear me? Michelle, thank you. Glow Hodges, thank you. Sandy Young, thank you very much. Monica Torres says, just got over a bronchitis. So I know exactly how you feel. Thank you, Monica. Simone Warren, hello. Latasha Jackson, hey girl. Welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I appreciate that. Mary Stovall, thank you as well for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Uh, Chris, thank you. I appreciate that. Clementina, um, right now I'm feeling okay because I'm hyped up on ibuprofen. We'll see how long it lasts. <laughs> um, Nick Nack Nurse, welcome. Thank you very, very much. Um, <clears throat> Nora says, Benfotamine puts B1 in fat-soluble form. I don't need no more fat. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, making it more accessible. Okay, I'll definitely write that down. Um, because, trust me, I'm taking every note of what everybody tells me. Uh, of things to do that will help. Um, because, because I don't know what to do. Um, D in a weekly 50,000 units is better. Okay, I will ask on that. Um, thank you, Sheila Cushenberry. I appreciate that. Um, but I will ask about getting a hold to that weekly 50,000 units. Hey, Shirley Stewart, how are you? Welcome, and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group captain of all things. Thank you. Um, MMR vaccine or booster decreases. Really? Okay, we'll check on that, too. Hadn't heard that. Uh, okay, we'll check on that. that. That's really cool. Hello, Melissa Yas. Welcome. Shonda Smalls, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, be it, I can't, it, the folks that see, and that's the thing, the hospital thing is tragic for folks who is, have family members that have to go and they're alone. That's that's not the route I'm trying to take with this. Um, so yeah, and you say you've lost your sense of smell. Oh my God. And see, that's, oh, my daughter lost her sense of taste. I'm trying real hard not to lose either one because I like food too much. So I don't really want to lose either one of those. But of course, we all know it chooses what it wants to do with whomever it is that gets it is what I'm learning. Um, because I've mentioned my sister to you guys. She didn't lose either sense or uh, smell or taste, but her daughter did. So it just depends on folks. Uh, hey, Shamira Customs, how are you? Welcome. Thank you. We are managing. Um, Clementina, hello to you as well. March Campbell, hello. Nora, we do have a humidifier. She said have them in all the rooms with water only. Add camphor, peppermint, or eucalyptus oils as needed. Thank you. Uh, we do have one. Uh, Joanna and my daughter has one in her room too. Joanna Holmes, thank you. So, so creative. Um, now, my cousin, my sister, she's doing great now. It's like full recovery for the most part. Her um, chest, they say, it won't be back to normal for a couple of months. The lungs, rather. So, um, but aside from that, she's doing great. She's been back to the doctor. She's got a clean bill of health. She's no longer in quarantine and things of that matter. Her daughter <clears throat> still from what I understand, hasn't gotten her sense of taste and smell back yet. But otherwise, she's great. Um, so they're over there doing really good. So I really appreciate that. And thank you for asking. So, so creative. Uh, Nora, thank you. I appreciate knowing that. And uh, the guidance, I appreciate that as well. Um, because as I mentioned, I did take notes. And we will be following up on that. Mary Stobel. <clears throat> you have a cousin who is recovering. Thank you for letting me know. And yes, I will definitely be taking care. Clementina, my dad is awesome. My dad is doing really, really well. He um, can move around, get around, in and out the car, things like that without any pain. It's just every so often he'll turn a certain way 
forgetting that he's healing. Uh, or at least that's what he told me this morning when I talked to him. And, uh, you know, he said that reminds him that he's healing, but otherwise he's doing really good. So thank you, Clementina, for asking. Uh, Nora says, please take this as if you're supposed to be on vacation. Get all paper plates and bowls. No housework. <sighs> you know what? I'm glad you mentioned that because there is a couple of things I'm out of. Uh, <clears throat> Kathy Wood, thank you for joining the, the webinar. I appreciate that. Um, thank you for joining me. I'm glad you found it informative. We worked really hard to make sure all classes were uh, going to get you to the point where you can do anything you want to do for the most part with So It Pro, um, or you won't know, you won't be confused as to what to do or where to go to get things accomplished. So that was the point in all of the classes, and, and it's totally awesome. So tonight, as I mentioned in my webinar, I haven't told everybody else, we'll, we will be uh, opening up two of the Actually, three of the classes, three, one of each level. So if you need to go back and take one of the either of the other classes, they'll be available for purchase and you can watch the replay as you need to. So that is going to be an option tonight by midnight. Those will be posted. Um, Nora says COVID-19 doesn't last on surfaces so much. Oh, well, that's good to know. <clears throat> to be sure, because as I mentioned, when you're processing orders, you kind of are like, eh, you know, how, what do I do? How do I handle this? What can I can I be concerned with when doing things for customers? So in betwixt and in between, when I'm feeling okay, I plan to finish these orders. But aside from that, I just still wash my hands, wear my mask so that I'm not spreading anything on those items and stuff like that. So I'm hoping it'll be okay. The sewing brat been using microband 24, the blue bottle before I send out an order. <laughs> I know that's right. I have, um, I don't have it back here, but I have like a spray bottle of alcohol. I have Lysol still, thank God. <clears throat> so I use some of any of that to help make sure things are wiped down, except for the order I had this morning. I don't know why I didn't think of that. The spray that box, but I didn't. Um, Simone, I will here shortly. Trust, I sure I will. Melissa says symptoms suck, but they need to happen for the body to repair itself. MMR, medical laboratory scientist. Oh, that's cool. These folks, it's all over the place um, with dealing with the symptoms. I mean, and this is crazy because. Um, I have so many folks who, fortunately, so many folks who have gotten over it. <clears throat> and of course, they call and tell you stuff. You have, I've seen several doctors post about what to do, what not to do. Um, several ER nurses posting what to do, what not to do. Um, and what I pretty much do, you know, even in, in, a nod to Miss Melissa. What I do is take notes of everything that I come across and see where these lines intersect and where uh, more than one person comes to a consensus about something. Also, talking to my regular family physician who has been my physician for how old is my son? 20 something years. <clears throat> because I hold his opinion very highly. And I have a family member in Texas that is a physician and I appreciate her input because my doctor has been a doctor for over 20 something years or longer than that, I'm sure. Whereas she is a newcomer in the arena of physician. So she has all the newest, latest, greatest type, young folk energy, all that type jazz research and whatnot. And so I kind of like compare notes and see what's going on all over the place. And that's what I go off of. Um, I do definitely appreciate anything natural. Not that I'm anti-medical uh, or whatever, but vitamins are always a plus uh, in my book because they've always been there. They've always been an option. So knowing that that 
is something that has been beneficial in helping. It piques my interest, and so I'm all for trying it. Because who can go wrong with vitamins unless you just overtake them? Um, then things like green tea, I was told, drink hot fluids, don't drink cold fluids, stuff like that. Laying, resting on your tummy uh, to help take some of that pressure off of those lungs uh, and help keep them from filling up. Stuff like that. Taking um, uh, expectorant, stuff like that is what I'm just like, yes, we're going to try all of it. <laughs> We're going to try all of it. And so that's what we are going to go off of. Um, but I appreciate any and all um, information and recommendation because I'm going to look into every bit of whatever I find out. Um, but Shirley Stewart, tell your customers you're under quarantine and you won't be doing business for at least the next 10 to 14 days and take care of yourself. You won't be able to do any if you're too sick. And you're right. <clears throat> but as I mentioned, like one customer in particular, she needs this sweater by Christmas. And she was like, I don't care. Come pick it up. I'm going to leave it in the back. You can just grab it, do whatever. And I'm sitting here like, <laughs> I was trying so hard to get out of it. Because number one is a cashmere sweater. Number two, um, you know, it's a one time. Y'all, this sweater was $250. $250, and she just wants three little letters, monogram, left chest. And I'm like, Lord, it's me again. <laughs> I'm coming to you with this sweater. <laughs> because if I mess it up, I swear I don't have $250 to replace it. <laughs> you know, and it's like, but she is like on her head and wants this sweater done. And it's a friend of a friend on that side of town where you know millionaires and billionaires live and it's just like <laughs> i can't turn it down because it's a good friend who referred her and so it's just like oh man so that one sweater definitely will have to get done the other customers yeah i can kind of you know let them know that there's some issues and hopefully they'll be understanding um but we'll see how it goes y'all you know how it is when these customers want what they want so if I have it in me to be able to get up and go do it, then I will. <clears throat> Eunice, thank you. I appreciate that. Colette, welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I apologize, y'all, for drinking, but I'm trying to keep my throat lubricated. So, so creative. She is good, actually. Uh, well, let me rephrase that. She has headache, sinus issues, um, and loss of taste. And that's about it, which is good, which is good. I don't want her to be worse than that. Thank you, Colette. Avery Head, congratulations on your hot Tronics Fusion. I'm going to have to ring something. I'm going to have to ring something. I'm going to see if my husband is listening. Hopefully, he'll grab the bell for me and bring it to me. Um, Thank you, So So Creative. That is very kind. <clears throat> I appreciate that. Thank you, Shamira Customs. Miss the purple one. Thank you, Trish Vincent. Hey, hey, bronchitis is not COVID. <laughs> no, it's not. But that coughing and that congestion is a pain in the bahuki. Yes, it is. PJ Coppage. Yo, what's up? Welcome, welcome. She's, uh, PJ says, hello, Who Group family. Sorry I'm late. No worries. Sending my love and healing prayers your way. Thank you. I appreciate it. My sister is a COVID survivor and is on zinc vitamin b complex and d3 she's been home three weeks and so far the only thing i haven't had added until today was the zinc that was the only thing i haven't had added uh trish i will be i'm we just gonna fight this tooth and nail and that's pretty much how it's gonna work trish says lemon and water we will be adding that to the to the routine thank you miss pearl lucas i appreciate that don't stay on too long. <laughs> Michelle says, I'm trying not to. Uh, Suzanne, I've had my husband and myself on D, Zinc, E, C, and anything else that might keep this at bay. Hope you feel better. And yes, we're going to avoid those ER doors as much and as hard as possible. Sa Saskia from Belgium. Welcome, Belgium. Wow, that's an awesome uh, distance away. So thank you for joining us from Belgium. Cool beans. Miss Lady D, hello. Kathy Wood. Thank you. Supplements stated previously were recommended, and my doctor also recommended elderberry supplement. 
I do have elderberry. Um, and haven't, let's see, elderberry. I was taking it a few months ago and I stopped because I noticed my appetite increased. Wasn't trying to gain weight. So I stopped taking it. That might not have been the smartest idea, but it did. So, um, yeah, we'll have to start choking that down again. Um, thank you, Jenny and Allison. She's doing okay. She's much better than I am. Um, <clears throat> hubby is fine so far. Him's not necessarily uh, excited to have a, a wife with COVID, but that's understandable. Um, we've been trying to quarantine as much as possible. PJ Coppage says, I take D3 50,000 weekly to help with the fibromyalgia pain. Huh. Really? Never heard that before. <clears throat> and fibromyalgia is an irritant here as well. So we'll have to look into that. I meant to write that down, actually. Because that's a, um, a shot, I think I heard somebody say. Uh, Nora, loss of sense of smell or taste is common with viruses and is temporary. Even with COVID-19, sometimes it takes two or three months to regain these. I still don't want to lose them, y'all. I like to eat too much. I like to taste my food <laughs> and smell my food. Um, let's see. Thank you, Afro-Colombian. I sure will give her your love. Sometimes when you take Tylenol ibuprofen, ibuprofen, it makes you feel better when you are not. No, I yeah, I know my body is still fighting this. Um, but I also know that I couldn't get on here without at least saying hi. Um, I, you know, I just, I w it would have bothered me. And saying hi on Facebook is totally different than coming on here. So I just wanted to come in and say hi to everybody. But we'll be going to bed here shortly. Marge says, praying for all who are being hit with this virus. We are hiding out at our shop. We've had it closed since October. May not open the thrift shop part again and that's understandable because this thing is spreading quickly norma thank you i appreciate that nikomi thank you yeah it's a pain but we're gonna we're gonna pl plug through this um pd says go on to frontline meds <clears throat> get telemedicine visit and get meds prescribed oh that's cool That's cool, because I don't think my doctor does um, video conferencing. I'll have to find out. I never tried. Magma, getting new toothbrushes. My aunt's doctor told her to throw them away often during COVID. She had it in March. Yeah, I'm a stickler for rotating them things out every three months or so, but yes. Pillow cases, all that whole nine. We're like, everything is prime for germs at this point. <clears throat> Keep your lungs clear and disinfect home. Open windows. I keep hearing that too. Open windows to air out the house uh, for a little bit. <laughs> Baby, it's cold outside. Rest and some, but still get up and move around. Yeah, my mother-in-law was like, walk up and down the stairs from the basement so that you can get energy. Not my mother-in-law, my aunt-in-law. <clears throat> so that I can keep my energy up. Treat yourself like you have a terrible cold. It just has to run its course. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Heather says, sorry for being late. No worries. It's okay. We don't mind. Maria. Hey, Maria. Um, cousin tested positive too. She takes C, D, and zinc. Drink lots of fluids. Yas. And vitamins is a trip. Now, folk been running from vitamins for a long time, but they sure enough are coming back and showing that them old school remedies are where it's at. And Marge Campbell, try uninstalling your So What Pro and then reinstalling it. Just don't, don't uninstall it <clears throat> and then go on to, uh, you can go to my website, it's fine. Download the demo version again, but just don't use Google Chrome when you download it again. Use either Microsoft, and I know it's not Internet Explorer, but whatever, Microsoft Edge, I think. Or you can use Firefox and download it then reinstall it. You don't have to enter your code and re-register it. None of that. It'll automatically still be there. And hopefully that will clear. Oh, and then after you reinstall it, reboot your computer. 
then try it again and hopefully those errors will clear. If they don't clear, go to uh, Sew It Pro, open up your Sew It Pro and then go to Help. Hold on, let me look and see so I can tell you the right thing. Go to uh, Help and then About Sew It Pro. And once you open up About Sew It Pro, the very first blue link under username, serial number, registered copy, right up under that, you'll see developer contact. You can click that link and send him an email if reinstalling it does not work. Okay, try that. Uh, Miss Lady D, I learned a lot in all of the classes. Oh man, thank you. I appreciate that feedback. <laughs> thank you so much for letting me know. So, so on. Even if you want to go to 50K uh, a week, you could just add 15K per week. My doctor told me that when I could not find the 5K jail. So, just told me to take 3K, 3 of the 2K per day. Okay, because mine are 5K. So, um, and I have a huge bottle of it, thank goodness. Good evening to you too, Miss Carol Coleman. The, um... So, uh, 50K is a one-pill, slow-release prescription that costs less than $5 for 12 weeks worth. Okay. Script. Um, it affects people differently. Yes. Bestie's mom had it back in April, and she still hasn't recovered the sense of taste or smell fully. She can rarely taste something if it has a tart flavor. Y'all, it's, it's a trip. Zinc stops the viral replication. Zinc, I've heard of the Crescertin, haven't found that yet. Vitamin D and vitamin C. I've heard of the Crescertin, but I just haven't found it. Um, may have to go on Amazon or something. Crescertin or however you spell it. But I know what you're talking about. I have heard of that before. Laverne Miller, natural is the best. Feel better soon, thank you. Embroidery Diva, hey Embroidery Diva, welcome. <laughs> Shonda Smiles Willis, my brother and sister-in-law both had it in April. Brother and sister-in-law lost taste and smell, developed a tremor, cannot hear out of his right ear, and became diabetic after COVID. Oh, my God. Oh, that is horrible. Already diabetic. Trust me, my diabetes don't need no help. It really don't. I struggle enough with it as it is, so my body don't need to get worse with that. Um... <clears throat> EJ's daughter, thank you for the bells. Gail Whitaker, hello, how are you? Levite Apparel <coughs> says, you help so much on embroidery with 4 by 4 hoop, cap hoop, and how I can use the four, the repositional hoop for the 4 by 4 to go big. Love, love your help. We'll go big one day. Thank you for showing me to stay in my line and go big. <laughs> you know what? This is my thing. My grandfather had a saying that used to irritate me as a kid but it sticks with me to this day and I use it all the time he used to say use what you got <laughs> so in him saying use what you got or use what you have make what you have work you don't always have to go for the next best thing the biggest thing the greatest thing because I think one of the toughest lessons or reality checks one of the reality checks that I had to learn when I changed from 4x4 four four to bigger because keep in mind to this day I haven't gotten a hold of a 5x7 embroidery machine I went from 4x4 four four to the brother six needle in a matter of a couple of months and it like it was a culture shock because now, all of a sudden, instead of focusing on getting, you know, single spools of thread, the smaller spools that are, you know, a couple of dollars or whatever, and putting it on my 4x4, small 4x4 machine, now all of a sudden I'm looking at these big, huge cones, which cost four times as much, having to have at least six cones on this machine at one time, and bigger stabilizer for the bigger hoops bigger designs which cost more too than the smaller designs i mean it was like i didn't think of all of that stuff all i saw was i want to go bigger 
one day I hope to be able to go bigger. And I did go bigger, but it came at a cost and I didn't foresee that. So when you hear me tell people who have the four by four machine, they're like, oh, I want it bigger. Okay. You're saying that. And yeah, there should be a goal that you should work towards, but keep in mind going bigger, you're going to have unexpected expenses that you might not have considered. And that's why I try to let people know about them ahead of time. Um, because it's not, I don't want to say it's expensive to have a multi-needle machine, but it's not necessarily inexpensive either, um, uh, because of the wide array of um, things that you have to purchase and keep up with. Now you're buying uh, pre-filled bobbins. Now you're buying uh, definitely machine oil because you have to oil those suckers every week. Now you're buying, you know, aftermarket hoops that make your job easier instead of using the hoops that come with the machine. Because once you get the machine and you're like, oh man, they have magnetic hoops for them? Are you serious? And now you're wanting to buy the magnetic hoop so that you can hoop the hard to hoop stuff. Then you're buying the the other the grip hoops and the window hoops and the better cap drive. I mean, it's crazy. It's like a never ending cycle with the larger machines. And then of course, once you go six needle, well, darn it, here comes a twelve needle and a fifteen needle that's available too. And then once you get the fifteen needle, well, you can get a double head and do two machines at one time. It, it's almost like a never-ending cycle. And you definitely want to keep that in mind as you're making plans to grow. Um, make sure you grow, I don't want to say gradually, because there are some folks out there who can afford to grow quickly. And that's okay. Um, just make sure that you have um, the ability to sustain yourself in the event that the business itself doesn't, pay for the equipment right away. Um, but it's okay. Levite Apparel, I'm very honored to have helped. Um, the 4x4 is not a bad thing. You can make it happen, and I'm glad you have been able to make it happen. And just build up your business to the point where your business purchases your next upgrade instead of going broke doing your next upgrade and then, you know, having to make sure that the business pays for itself. Let it pay for itself first um, because you can get things done uh, without having to go into debt. But I'm very proud of you. You've done an excellent job and thank you for letting me know. Pamela Smith, <clears throat> if you do the inhalation of the hydrogen peroxide with the vaporizer, the cure up that starts to throw immediately, probably you get well and really quick, maybe less than a couple of days. I've never heard of that. Um, never heard of that, <clears throat> but we'll look into it too. Chris says to soothe the throat, take a teaspoon of honey, which is, well, I didn't do just the honey by itself, but I added mine to the tea, but we'll keep that in mind to let it coat the back of the throat. That'll help a lot with discomfort. Thank you very much. Pamela says it's just a small amount of peroxide, like one teaspoon to a cup of water, but it's supposed to be food grade too. I use regular, but they say use food grade. Embroidery Divas is praying. Thank you. I appreciate that. Heather, uh, thank you very much. We all appreciate that, I'm sure. Melissa says, girly, I can see in your face that you have a fever. <laughs> I hope you can't see that. I'm trying to be still kind of cute. Oh, no. Um, I did have one earlier. I hope I don't have one now. I am starting to sweat, but I hope I don't have one now. Ugh. Um... Thank you, Nakomi. I appreciate that. Levite, thank you. Boston in the house, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> um, Dr. Mercola, he tells you how to do the inhalation therapy. Oh, cool. Okay. Y'all, I'm, I'm a sucker for knowledge. At one point in time in my life, I probably should have went the physician route because I love medicine and learning about healing and curing and stuff like that but I don't have the attention span to become a PhD so yeah no we skipped that part uh little miss boutique thank you I appreciate it PK PJ Coppage I take cap order through pharmacy no shots y'all yes. ginger tea um 
Y'all, and you know what? I am not a fan of ginger. I can drink ginger ale, but I'm not a fan of ginger. And I'm going to have to learn how to Carol Coleman. I mean, <laughs> she said, you just want to feel the love. <laughs> no, trust me. I can feel the love in the bed in my sleep. Because <laughs> I'm more than uh, aware of how folks are totally awesome in this group. But I just still wanted to... Um, not not say hi tonight I just I don't know y'all know how I am I just I love coming on here live it's just something I look forward to every week uh good night Michelle you have a good night Shonda Smalls deep breathing exercises yes for sure um <clears throat> I'm praying for a speedy recovery good night to you as well to finish packing Leave it for Atlanta in the morning. You be safe on your trip. Leela Nelson, welcome. Hope you got some good rest. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I appreciate it. Uh, Marge says Windows 10 just up there. Oh, man. Windows 10 and their updates are annoying. So, yeah, that can cause a problem, too. <clears throat> you also need to be taking the vitamin D. That's probably the most important one. Yes. Vitamin D. Like I said, I've been on D3 for a year now. <clears throat> so, um, Suzanne R. Mercola, I haven't heard of him, so definitely gonna check him out. Happy Scrappy, hello, welcome, thank you. Nora says oregano is good for the alveoli in the lower lung. Half a teaspoon dried oregano in a cup of boiling water. Snip in the fumes and sip it a little bit as it cools. You can reheat it or throw it out. Definitely, we'll check that out. We trying to um see what all we can do. Heather says all okay in Queensland. Out prime minister, our prime minister locked down our borders until there was no more virus showing up. Yeah, I've heard um Australia, I think it was. They said no more COVID at all. No more positive reports, which was really cool to hear. Happy Scrappy had it in March. Lost taste and pain all over your body. Oh, yeah, this um body ache. I can't emphasize that enough. <clears throat> Pamela Smith, I love your grandpa saying I need to learn that. And so do a lot of us. Yeah, using what you got has saved me a lot of aggravation and money, actually, more so than anything. And it taught me to be content. And contentment is something that will... Uh, help you be happy because if you're content with what you have you'll be happier you really will so I try to practice being content often because I promise you going to Michael's and going to Hobby Lobby and walking through the fabric section you will quickly learn how to not be content anymore but moving here thinking of my grandpa and moving here and having to move all that crap that I had in my studio. Yeah, no, I'm not going through that no more. I've started getting rid of stuff. So, um, <clears throat> I listen to my papa a lot. Rest his soul. I miss him a lot. Pearl Lucas, thank you. I will here in a moment. Thank you, Nora, for sending me that information. Yes, Marge. Single needle to multi needle is a different learning curve. <clears throat> Uh, sip a hot beverage off and on. That's what I've been doing. <laughs> Let people nurse and baby you for a while. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I have a five by seven, and I've been wanting to do, wanting to get a machine that can do bigger projects like the Luminaire, my brother. It's just so expensive, and haven't even started making money yet with what I have. Again, that's why I'm like, use what you have. That five by seven actually is like the perfect middle of the road to have so many options of projects that you can do as well as you know still be small enough and affordable enough you know to take care of stuff so that five by seven is actually the, the way to go i was going to pick up a new four by four um but wasn't able to swing it so i'm not going to do that now but i'm always on the lookout for a used five by seven so that we can have another avenue of teaching here on the channel and showing how to teach certain things so we'll get there um, and we will definitely have uh, what we need in order to expand 
in our instruction, right? Um, Melissa says it's never ending. There's always something new. Yes, for sure. Wise information anyway. I like magnetic hoops, at least one to start, just not in the cars right now. I have the hooping station from years ago. Should work with yes, it should work with the magnetic hoops. It should. And like I said, it's always something to spend on when it comes to embroidery, always. Um, I've seen a lot of multi needle thread machines have decided to get later to get a machine with a bigger hoop or magnetic hoop and stay with a one needle, yes. Uh, my rhinestones come from BeCreateful.com. It is in the link in the description below. BeCreateful.com. And I'll put it in the chat as well. And if my honey has a moment, if he could grab my bell for me, I would really appreciate it because I believe it was Avery's Creations. I'll go back up. But somebody got a new heat press and I definitely want to read ring for that Hytronics because that Hytronics is an awesome heat press. Um, I have seen a lot of multi-needle thread machines. I've decided to later get a machine with a bigger hoop or magnet. Oh, I just read that. I apologize. Marge Campbell says, buy what you can afford. Eve is correct. Make that 4 by 4 work. Full show. Pamela Bradley White, welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Nora says, I got my link for the intro class. I'm going to buy the software. So what, pro? Yas. Welcome. Thank you for getting that from us. Jennifer H., welcome. Thank you for joining us. <coughs> um, Colette Christopher, thank you. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Jackie Creeks. Um, beginner, new to embroidery, having problems understanding files when downloading from the sites. So if you're downloading a file from, <coughs> say, for instance, embroidery library, um, yes, when you download it, it will, um, you'll have to uh, extract it from the zip file unless you download just the file itself. And you need to make sure that it's in a format that your machine can read. Um, I do have a video, Jackie, out here on our channel. Just look up, um, I don't know, type in files. Maybe that'll help pull it up. But there is a video from way back, about two years ago, that I have on downloading and saving files. Um, download letters, and they are not embroidery. If they're not embroidery, they're not going to work. If they're not embroidery, they're not going to work. Um, <laughs> I just thought of something funny. Um, you have to get letters. You can go to stitchtopia.com, which is in the comments below. Those are embroidery. I was going to tell you, if you wanted to ring it from the door, you could have. Thank you. Um, but you can... Um, You can um, get from Stitchtopia. You can also get from Jolston's. Um, Applique Corner is another location. All of those are embroidery files, uh, fonts. Terry Ponce, hello, welcome. Maria, thank you. Fiance and best friend both had COVID, and thank God they're still alive, but they were barely able to move. Um, that's right now, Maria, and I'm praying it doesn't get worse. Um, but again, also, I have been taking um, vitamin C and vitamin D on the regular. So that has helped. And Jessica, yes, unfortunately, I have gotten sick with the dreaded COVID. Nora, you should protect your throat. Sip on something. Uh, I've been kind of sipping off and on on my green tea with turmeric. <coughs> Um, Jackie, same here. I got a file digitized, but they digitized it for a multi-needle, and now I have 27 color changes, and I have a single needle machine. Jennifer, anytime you guys get a file digitized, let them know what machine you have, but keep in mind, depending upon the file that you send to them, if it has all of those colors, they're going to try and match whatever image that you send them as close as possible. I know Miss Leela Nelson and I had this conversation a while back. She had something digitized and it was just like all over the map with um, 
all the thread colors and the density and stuff and she kind of calmed the whole design down herself if I'm remembering correctly or either somebody did it for her but let your digitizer know what you're expecting that please you know minimize the color changes um, so that you don't have to go through all of that with your um, designs thank you Miss Bickham uh, no worries hug on them grandkids for me if you can Jackie, I was told that already I have been avoiding cold drinks um, anyway, so that's a good thing. Thank you for that. Um, Marge, you stay safe this evening. Andrea, I'm doing okay. Um, Heather, ginger tea with hot lemon, honey, apple cider, vinegar. The ginger has a bit of a bite, but it will work for you. I will keep that in mind. And if you would like, if you have a tea recipe that you would like to share, you can email it to me. I have no issues looking into that at all. Uh, but really, before any of us jump on any regimens, we should check with our physicians. Yes, and as I mentioned, um, I do research on everything that is recommended, and I discuss it with my doctor first because... Um, you know, he knows my body just about as well as I do. And if he, one thing I do appreciate about him is he told me, I, I thanked him for putting me on vitamin D over a year ago. And he says, I take it. So why wouldn't I recommend it to you? If I'm taking it to keep my health up, I'm going to do the same for you. And I had to respect him for that. Uh, ultimately, I was really appreciated. Um, so art and in brilliance, mm, Maria... Level one, I don't know because I don't know what you get with Embrilliance level one, but the whole Embrilliance digitizing program is going to have a lot more digitizing options than so art. Shirley Stewart, learning to be content with what you have is a virtuous trait to have. It helps us to be grateful for our blessings. Yes, ma'am. That is for certain. Um, thank you, Sonya Siegler. I appreciate that. Yes, it has been an hour and I can feel it. I can feel it. Dream Machine, Genomi Memory Craft, 400E Embroidery Only Machine is $1,400. 7x7 hoop. That's a pretty decent size hoop. My son asked me about a small embroidery machine for his wife and that PE600 was $539. Went to Walmart um, and had it. So I found one for 400 I think is what it was. I do, if you um, call me on that, if she wants it. Because I do have one actually on reserve, but I was going to just let it go. Um, cut it short and get some rest, Miss Debbie Key said. Y'all tired of talking to me. <laughs> it's all right. I am like, woo, Mary Stovall. A lot of it is going to depend on your budget, but definitely check out um, heatpressnation.com. They have uh, warranties, so definitely check them out. <clears throat> is there a way to take embroidery fonts and use them to make bling templates? No, not you can take if you have an uh, uh, image of it stitched out or printed out, you can send a picture of that to. A bling designer and they can work with that some, some of them will work with that you just have to find a bling designer that's willing to do it she said so a pro fixed itself huh hilarious miss Bickham yes ma'am tell Papa he's right um so you guys I am going to go ahead and wrap this up Pamela type 2 um, you gotta be kidding. Did you see the research that one bigger dose of vitamin D per week may be better absorbed than smaller daily doses? No, but several folks have mentioned it, so we definitely are going to look into it. Jackie Creek's lemon over hot, hot, and also drink liquid Corville will clean your blood. Lemon is natural. Interesting. We'll have to check that out. Drink very warm tea with lemon, honey, and peppermint, but you be careful. Yeah, don't do peppermint in my drinks at all. Ice cream, that's a no. <laughs> drinks that's a no <laughs> I'm not a fan of peppermint but everything else we can go with so thank you guys for joining me this evening it is 10.03 hooked on applique is having a sale on embroidery files 50, over a thousand Avery's creation so you guys check out 
hooked on applique. I've never heard of them. But check them out. We all like a sale, don't we? So if you want to add some of your designs. Actually, you know what? I'm so glad I sat back. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Let me go back up. Let me go back up. Let me go back up. Where is it? Uh -oh. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Avery Head just picked up a hot tronic fusion. Avery, I hope you're still in here. Congratulations! <laughs> yes! Congratulations on your Heatronics Fusion Heat Press. That Heatronics is bad, y'all. It's a nice heat press. So check that out if you're interested in getting a heat press. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great night. I'm getting ready to go and lay in the bed under uh, something to try and get this fever down. And, uh-oh, Miss Pressure got an NQ1600E. Baller! Another baby! <laughs> yes, y'all. Ooh, coming in late with the babies. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Congratulations, Miss Pressure on your new baby as well so you guys i am off to bed i hope y'all have a great night uh holler at me send me an email with your recipes i will look into them and take in all of the information that you're willing to give i thank you so much for it thank you for your well wishes and especially your prayers because lord knows this is going to be a fight but we gonna fight it with all we got you hear me so Look forward to fooling with y'all more in the uh, Who group, especially on Facebook, and also in the other group. Let you guys know how our progress goes. So thanks, and y'all have an excellent night. Stay safe and COVID-free, and above all, happy embroidering. Y'all have a good night. <laughs> Bye.